All right, guys, so this is day three. This is like the main day where we're going to the army base. We're about to do all the activities. I'm super excited. As you can see, I came very comfortable because they told us we got some physical activities we got to do. You know your boy. Yeah, it's early. It's like, what, 7, 18. We're actually supposed to be downstairs at 7, 15, but we're having camera problems, so we had to run back to the room, figure it out, and then, yeah, so I'm excited for that. And, yeah, we're about to... About to get ready. I've never in my life been on an army base, so pretty excited for the experience and yeah, I'm just ready to do it. experience they kind of put us upside down and I guess we have to try to the experience is to get out of it safely this is this is pretty heavy though it's very heavy all right well that's where we're at now we have one help one crew oh if this is super hurtful no this is actually really kind of sorry for you okay let me know okay i'm gonna say something ready i know what i'm ready for I'm ready for it, but I'm ready. Sergeant Walker. So this is going to turn the ship side down. Oh, 2530. Yeah, 2530. Yeah, first time in 2530 for formalization. Okay. The second, you know, 360 speed. Three, okay. And, and then, you know, third, you know, upside or down. Okay. And then I'm going to tell you, you know, egress and then get out. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, better than before, you know, 90 degrees coming up from the front of the Yes. Okay. You could probably okay. get in the driver's seat. Then you I can get in the driver's seat. Okay. Uh, okay. So driver, you know, make sure you know, stay in peel or Yeah. Make so sure, you, know, you need to make sure. Right. <laughs> once you start going over, okay. That you, as the driver, so you either you have your hands very tight on the steering wheel. Okay. Or yeah, after load up, yeah, after load up, you know, yeah, put two hands in the seat. When you start, we're going over. Yeah. Make sure you either the steering wheel. Okay. Or oh, hands. No. Okay. Okay. Hands on the ceiling and, and keep them there. Right. right. After load of right, right. just in the belly of the three. Now I'm going to tell, you know, upside or down, uh, and I'm going to sure. tell, you know, eagle rest. Make sure, you know, we'll have the ceiling, right? Yeah. And then, you know, I'm up at the ceiling. Okay. Yeah. okay. If you do not have the ceiling, bam. Yeah, you just smash it. Okay. That makes sense. Right. That makes sense. <laughs> We learn it. We learn it. Now this is definitely a be all you can be moment because this is when I learned that I'm gonna be in the driver's seat, which is gonna make this a little bit more difficult. So watch this. So I'm about to, I'm about to drive. Oh. I'm gonna flip us 20, 30 degrees at first, 360 degrees, and then I think it said 90 degrees, and then we have to climb up the top. I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. So 25. Oh, I gotta be a spotter, <laughs> so they get the full experience. Okay, my hands might be glued to the steering wheel. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, now we're upside down. Okay, eagle left, eagle left, eagle left. Okay. Buckle and get up. Okay. Brace yourself and don't fall. All right. Remember. Up is down and down is up right now. Alright. Uh, uh, That was, that was, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> so is it the Humpy experience? I gotta go back, you have to flip upside down, I had to unbuckle upside down, fall, and then unlock the hatch and crawl out. He's not coming. 
It's quite the experience, but now we gotta go back in. We gotta come out to the top this time. So, we'll see how this goes. Come on, my knee Now? Yep. Brace. It's interesting. You're gonna uh fall on me. Uh, uh, okay. Just don't fall on me. I'm I'm high. High. I don't care what I can do. <laughs> okay. Where's gravity taking you? Down to the right. To the right, yeah. Alright. Alright. Right there. Uh, uh. Oh, we have to get out here. Uh. Uh. That's tired. That's extremely tired. <laughs> to say I didn't fall because that was close. Very. That was that was a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 experience. Say it again. You ready for your contract now? Uh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was that was a good experience though. That one there is a little bit more scary because I think I was more so scared about falling on him. I was sideways. I had to unbuckle myself sideways. I didn't, yeah. didn't want to fall okay. onto him. Yeah. So I had to like hold myself up and then uh, it was good job. Was interesting uh, yeah it's not really much you can say about that except when you're in the moment you're just kind of see it like twisting over and my hands were red from holding the steering wheel so hard so I don't fall and then the scariest part is when you're actually upside down and then that's when the moment when you have to unbuckle yourself and that's when you're gonna fall and kind of hit the head and you gotta kind of turn over and you gotta find the door you gotta <laughs> That was a lot. That was a lot. But hands down, a great experience. We definitely appreciate everybody here for helping. And yeah, we, we got a lot more in store. That was only the first thing. <laughs>
we show you how we do it. Two lanes, lane Sorry? one and no. lane five. It's a little, it's a little, lane one, it's a lane five. So this is simulated, right? So there won't be no kick. Uh, at right this here. time, go ahead and, and proper lock your bolts to the rear, load your magazine. Okay, one sec, they're not even in. Do you mind doing the lock the bolts to the rear and then explain that when, they're, when he's down there? Okay. Don't bring your head to the head. All right, scan your lane. Fire when ready. Three rounds. That's how you lock the ball. That's it. That's it, my right. Now you, now you're auto. Now you're able to shoot. Okay. So get not yet. Get a proper grip. Are they good to fire? Proper. Right. Yes. Fire when ready. Proper grip. Proper. Make sure you put it in the middle of the um, circle. You shoot. Three rounds. 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 Fire when ready. Okay, your, your chambers are empty. Lock and load. Lane, lane one's still empty. Lock and load, lane one. There you go. Target's up. Okay. Alright man, so we just finished the EST, the uh, virtual shooting thing, okay. and nothing like Call of Duty, I'll say so myself. I'm definitely not the best at it, but it's a good experience, we had a great time doing it. Now I think we're about to go do the number one thing that I am dying to do right now, which is eat. Because I'm starving, and yeah, we're going to go to the Shinsuke Mall, to kind of break off into groups, to get to do our own thing, and we all get to kind of figure out what we want to eat on our own, so... Overall experience? Huh? Overall experience? Oh, the overall experience, I give it a 10. So far, I'm having a great time being immersed in what they do on a daily. And it's very, it's humbling because the work that they put in and be good at this, I'm terrible at it. So I can only imagine the amount of practice and everything that they go through to be as good as they are. So it's a humbling experience for sure. battalion commander for the 94th MPs. All right, so they also have a military working dogs. So this portion is going to be tasers and the canines. So if you choose to, you can don the suit, get chased, see if you can outrun a dog, let him bite onto the arm, and then also fire a taser if you need to. Right, cool. So I'm going to introduce you to the battalion commander. Okay. Brief for the 188th military police uh, taser demonstration. It's going to be warmer today. Uh, we have provided water over here. It's ice cold, so just help yourself. The demonstration area is going to be outlined by these orange cones. So please do not, uh, while the demonstration is occurring, please don't enter in. While uh, people are being tased, we have alligator clips and we also have live electrical wires that will be deployed. So please don't uh, grab any of them. And that the U.S. Army uses in a law enforcement capacity. So this weapon is meant to produce, produce neuromuscular incapacitation. And that's basically your nervous system. Uh, it receives electrical pulses through this around 10,000 per second. So it just locks you up, tightens up the body. So it's used against a combative subject uh, when we are doing law enforcement operations. We will be doing a drive stun on him, which will cause the space. You ready? Taser, taser, taser. All right, the next thing we're gonna be doing is using alligator clips and we will be conducting another taser. All right, so the first one, alligator clip is gonna go behind the boot. So we're gonna be connecting it as the belt. Right, taser, taser. No, no. 
Like this, sir. Can I see where the shot landed? Now this is another be all you can be moment. I'm putting on the suit where I'm gonna let the dog chase me and bite me. So here we go. It's time to get big. Now I want you. I want you. There we go. There okay. we go. So the whole time you're running, that's how I want you. Okay. We're gonna open this up a little bit. So now I talk about a whole bunch of other stuff because I don't want you to be worried or right now. This is probably like I put you in so much equipment. You're you're probably safer doing this than being in a gunfight. Okay. So, uh,